Um, so you've written significantly about the importance of a long-term defensible strategy over team talent or early traction, uh, with slight nods to Snapchat and others as maybe being overvalued. Uh, many of Berlin's early startup successes have been well executed but low technology risks, including Immobilien Scout 24. Uh, is your advice dependent on contacts or have times simply changed since the early 90s? I think it is actually a combination of both. So I think that these things are not mutually exclusive. So there are certainly great businesses to be built that um, are um, less technologically disruptive than Founders Fund is focused on. Um, there are certainly still opportunities to build these businesses and um, certainly like have nothing against people building those types of businesses. And those there are definitely room for more businesses like Immobile and Scout. Um, that said, um, it, there is an argument to be made that a lot of the uh, general infrastructure layer um, and sort of consumer and enterprise services layer um, from a software standpoint is like pretty much in place now, would be our view. And so it feels like the low hanging fruit has been somewhat exhausted and we need to be looking for, for more breakthrough innovation across the board. Sure. Uh, second one is, uh, so today we have some of the most successful VCs in Europe in attendance. How do I make the best of something like this as a new entrant with a limited market without suffering from what you describe as the networking syndrome? Um, uh, wow. Um, well, let's see. Um, <laughs> let's see. I think I might be speechless on that one. Um, no, you know, um, I think that generally, um, generally, my view on these things is if you if you're sort of at an event like this right now, where there's where networking is obviously a part of it. Um, when you find someone who you're having a good conversation with, it's an interesting conversation. You just roll with that conversation uh, and just go with it. And you can if you talk to one person that you really connect with in an evening, that's great. You don't have to worry about talking to everybody. So that would be my, my really quick advice on that. Um, and then many of the startups that you or Founders Fund invest in are kind of late stage revenue models like you talked about, SpaceX, Facebook, etc. cetera. Um, but in Europe generally, it's mostly early revenue models. Is this something where it's just less money like Portland or Chicago? Or is it a cultural thing where they're more risk averse, they want those early revenue models? Do you, do you think it's Berlin specific and certain things can only happen in the Valley? Um, I think that there are very few investors willing to invest a lot of money in something with revenue that is going to be many years or potentially even a decade off. So I think there, the fundamental constraint is actually availability of capital for these really long-term view businesses that will not monetize for a long time. So that is a very real constraint, and that's a very real constraint here. It's a real constraint even in Silicon Valley. Um, and that's why, to the extent you can actually raise enough capital to pursue a business that will have an incredible business model but will take a long time to realize, that's a really interesting thing for an entrepreneur to work on. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.